wealthy people who are not transhumanists, um, as well as transhumanists, there's an incredible uh, generosity that stems from some of these people who are wealthy, and, and I think that's wonderful to be sure. But then it, what you're saying magnifies the issue that there needs to be better understanding about uh, these technologies, and it isn't transhumanism as a philosophy that is pushing this, but people using transhumanist technologies that may um, be. Yeah, it's the actual uh, issue of using technology, you mean, rather than the philosophy of it. Uh, yeah, I mean, the philosophy of transhumanism would like everyone to have this, uh, have the potential uh, to have uh, prosthetic legs if they need it, or, you know, to have uh, the medical and medical care that they need, of course, but that's not the world we live in, and it's unfortunate. What do you think is the norm, though? Do you think the norm is the rich people having access to, or uh, having access to um, enhancement technologies, or is it the exception that the, the rich people, the elite, as you called it before, have this access? Because from what I see, it, uh, and, and, and this is from Stephen Hawking, who is, you know, who Stephen Hawking sees, and who, uh, who constantly um, is, uh, advocates uh, that if there is no special control of this actual use, practice use of uh, uh, human enhancement technologies by the government. That's a whole other area. Um, it's, so there's two separate areas. Once, one is, I don't like calling people elite. I think that people who have worked okay, hard to make your, money... Okay. Um, that's their choice, and uh, you know, I, I don't like this division between the elite and the poor. Um, it's it's obviously there, but it's it's almost like the elite be damned for being elite. Um, no, but I that. think that I'm our attention needs to be term. for the poor. But the issue with Stephen Hawking is about artificial general intelligence and supercomputing power, and his concern about the um, the effects of these in a way that is alarmist and um, taking on the the doomsday um, dystopian view and uh, but that's a whole different discussion if we had a session on AGI or supercomputing then then that would be the the a, a great pivot point but right here I think that we need to not be so concerned about the elite having it or the rich I hate again I hate that term the the, the wealthy people in the world to have access to it if they can afford it and then hopefully they bring the cost down for everyone else and that is the way it's been for eons and that's the capitalist world we live in and hopefully that'll help everyone because there is no way in hell that the world can survive at the rate of things unless we have people in the marketplace who drive the price down. I believe, to be honest, uh, that we live in a capitalist world who has, which has failed. And uh, this capitalist world, which is dysfunctional and doesn't see it and, and, and use other issues as the problem, the cause of the problem for all this economic crisis that we live in, if a, a transhumanism becomes part of this capitalist um, system whereby we have uh, the rich people having this access and after some time, or out of generosity as you put it, which uh, in a sense, it, it, it sounds a bit, to, uh, I'm sorry if I uh, uh, misconceive it, but it sounds to me like, uh, like charity. Well, it shouldn't be like charity, it should be something that uh, well, it should be given. It should. We should have access to, to that. I, I'm not sure if, um, uh, for instance, who it was. Uh, well, but I, I, mean, I'm not I guess the alternative here is that everyone should. We should get rid of people who have money, and everyone should be oh. poor equally together. So instead of some exactly. having access to sciences technology for enhancement that they should be rid of it and everyone should be equally uh, suffering and poor. Well look, I don't know, we, we may have gotten off the topic, I'm not sure what the topic was intended to be, 